Greetings folks, sorry it's been a while since I posted a video, but uh, life's been kind of getting in the way, but that's a long story for another time. Um, just a quick video for you today to show you the army I took to the Games Bunker's first ever To The Strongest event. It's a set of rules that I'd only played a couple of times before the event last week, but I played it often enough to know that I bloody enjoyed it. Good fun. Um, I took 100 Years War French. Uh, there was a, a spread of armies, of Samurai, Chinese, Carthaginian, 100 Years War English, Crusaders. Quite, you know, a spread of armies. Um, everybody had a good time. We all played three games and it wasn't particularly competitive. Prizes were given out for things like friendliest opponent and nicely painted army. Um, but like I say, the main thing was having fun and everybody did so much so that we're thinking of hosting another one later in the year. Um, but this video, I'm just going to show you the army I use, some of which is rebased from other things you've seen on this channel before. Look out for more content regarding To The Strongest coming soon on the channel as well. Um, anyway, enjoy the army and there'll be a slideshow of pictures from the few of the games I played afterwards. Thanks for watching. Here we have my general markers. Now, generals are attached to um, units, but they have markers to represent where exactly they are in the two the strongest rules. And here's the my three, um, representing the uh, few of the French commanders present at Crecy, uh, very loosely. Um, Count, Count of Flanders, the Duke of Lorraine, and of course, uh, his myth, Catholic Majesty, Philip VI. Um, that's just a bit of artistic license to wind a few people up. Uh, models are nearly all Claymore castings, apart from the king on his horse there, who's an old Essex model. But the rest are all Claymore castings, including the um, standard bear on the king's base. And carrying on with the markers theme, um, not actually units to use on the table, but just things to indicate other things. Here we have something representing the army standard, the Oriflamme. And the three hero markers that um, my army has, um, just representing a chance to perhaps see almost like a re-roll in Blood Bowl or something like that. But uh, yes, all Claymore Castings models on some MDF bases. Here we have two units of men at arms that uh, unit classification wise into the strongest. The class is Knights. To differentiate them from the later knights um, and nobles, or whatever you want to call them, I'm using the Perry miniatures, which obviously aren't as comparisoned or barded, and because they're from that later period. But yes, two units of men at arms. Two units of nobles classed as later knights in the uh, To the Strongest rules. These are uh, Claymore Castings models that I've actually shown on my channel before, but I've rebased them for the purposes of uh, To the Strongest. And uh, I think I'll keep them like this. There we go. Two units of noble knights, later knights. Another unit of nobles. Uh, or, or, you know, later nights, as they're also called. Um, this time, these are foundry models. A unit of mercenary crossbowmen. They're uh, a mix of models on this one. Some Perrys, some Claymore castings, and some Fireforge. They all mix in quite well together, I think. Zooming a bit closer there. Quite pleased with the way they've come out, actually. A unit of French crossbowmen. This time, these are all Fireforge plastic models. I should add, actually, the bases on all of these are official Big Red Bat Shop bases from the To The Strongest website. Painted with mostly contrast paints, like most of the models you've seen here so far. A unit of uh, French spearmen. 
mixture of models on here. We've got some Claymore, some Perrys, and some Fire Forge. Like I said, with that unit crossbowman just now, they all, they all mixing quite well, I think. Some French veteran Pavaziers. Basically, they count as shield wall in the uh, to the strongest rules. Nothing spectacular offensively speaking, but they can uh, soak up a bit of damage defensively. Although it does depend on who's shooting at them, doesn't it, Don? These are all, all of them, uh, Claymore Castings models. And last, but definitely not least, um, another unit of knights, but this time veteran noble knights. Counting as later knights, but with the veteran upgrade. I've modelled them to have the king on the base and the army standard, but they, the army standard won't be accompanying this unit, because rules-wise it's relatively pointless. These are nearly all Essex models, apart from the king, who's from Claymore Castings. And uh, the knight on this end, it's an Essex horse, but a foundry rider, because I had one spare of each. There we go, veteran knights. So yes, there you have it. Uh, six units of knights in total, of one shape or form or another. Two units of crossbowmen, two units of spear type chaps. Compact and bijou, as putting it mildly and kindly. Um, I'm in it for the look of the models and the fun of the game. If I win any prizes of any shape or form, it'll be both surprising, welcome, but not expected. Anyway, I'll let you know how I get on with the tournament. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, look at the models. Any questions about how they're painted, what they are, blah, 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 pop them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer you. Thanks for watching.